Charlotte Studios. This is Fox News Rising. Right now, before we get over to our forecast on the fours, you had something you wanted to talk about. There's something I want to just kind of get off my uh, chest here. New story that's been on CNN. This came out last week. Mm -hmm. So I've been reading up on it. There is an actual doctor. You can check this out on parentdish.com. You can do a search on Newsweek and find these articles. You can check it out. Do a search at CNN.com. You'll find this everywhere. A doctor has written a series of children's books teaching kids how to deal with the effects of plastic surgery. <laughs> Fair. Is anyone else disappointed by this? The, teaching kids how to deal with mommy coming home all bandaged up. Mommy coming home with black eyes. Maybe mommy coming home not being able to tell you whether or not she's happy because she can't move her face because she's Botoxed all to Jesus. Well, I guess, <laughs> I guess the question would be if nobody's interested, they won't buy the book. Well, the fact but if somebody is interested, then why not allow him to write whatever he wants? Obviously, obviously, if people are interested, because plastic surgery has increased 200% in the last decade, mm -hmm. obviously there was a need for this because kids are being traumatized by the fact that their moms are coming home all bandaged up like a mummy, and then they get the bandages off and they don't look like mom anymore. One of the, one of the topics of one of the books is, that, you know, the mom comes home all bandaged, right. the doctor compares the, the mom to a, a caterpillar in a cocoon, and then... <laughs> When the cocoon opens up, it's a beautiful butterfly. Okay. I'm sorry, hold on. I'm going to throw that over to the side of the... <laughs> Don't put it on me. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I'm just so frustrated by what this says about our culture, that, pla that the need to find... Uh, perfection and physical perfection we're not talking about spiritual perfection we're not talking about writing children's books about how no. mommy you know found christianity or how you know mom changed her religious beliefs or how mom and dad you know well there may be some books like that out there but, but this is what's a new story well and that's maybe even a bigger commentary that it, speaks to your point exactly it's all really frustrating to me that plastic surgery has become such a common factor mm -hmm. in our society that there are now children's books that address it. But that also shouldn't the parents themselves, I mean my, if mommy is getting ready to go through this, shouldn't mommy have some sort of responsibility to say mommy's going into the hospital and she's going to come mm -hmm. back and she's going to look a little different and, and try I to prepare them. With, I don't think it's a, uh, an author's responsibility, that's the parent's responsibility. Now maybe the parent doesn't know how to do it and maybe the author has some experience with this and can help. I I'm thinking somebody needs to write a book for mommy to read to maybe challenge her to figure out something she likes about herself that has nothing to do with her cup size or the fact that she doesn't think she has a perfect nose or that she doesn't want wrinkles on her forehead. We all get old. Gravity takes has an effect on all of us. Like, I don't understand this. Why, why we can't age gracefully and still be considered beautiful? Well, we can, but if some people don't like what they look, uh, what they, uh, like when they look in the mirror, everybody should have a chance to look the way they want to. Really? I think, yeah, I mean, if the technology is there, I'm not, I'm not totally against that. I would that. say that our, our, our standards of beauty are really affected, though, by what we see, that it's not, it's not our own standard anymore because it's, we're just, it's thrust upon us. Every time we turn on the TV, every time we open a magazine, every time we look at a billboard, this unattainable standard of beauty that, that promotes perfection. And it's not real. Anyway. Anyway. That, I got that off my chest. I got it off my chest. Yes. It's 624. I, I do feel better. Good. Check it out on parentdish.com, Newsweek, that, any of those well, places. Parentdish.com. Parentdish yeah, yeah that's, that's the article I had up. My beautiful my mommy. My beautiful mommy. We're going to send it over to Tara Blake, 624. <laughs> Time for a forecast on the four. What's going on, Tara Blake? Not a lot. Just focusing on another great day here at home, possibly reading a few books. Hopefully not that one. But if you're reading a few books with you and the kids later this afternoon,